Epcot World Showcase. Who's excited? Fish and chips. <laughs> This is Rosen Crown where we have reservations later. When do we have reservations? Sunday. Ah, uh, Sunday. And then that's the fish shop and then this is Sam's land of his people. And I don't get one. Because I'm Portuguese. And that's the tea store. This is Joey and Robert. They've been harassing us. There have been some female mallards doing the same thing. At least one ibis. There's a Christmas teapot. And England. And no, no, it's Sam. These ibises are incredibly hopeful that we are going to leave our food on the table. And it's not gonna happen, ibises. Bye. Why did I just yell at you that we have to get in line? Mary Poppins. It's Mary Poppins. Oh my gosh. No one cares about Canada, but I really like Canada. Canada. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's just really cool because you're like, oh shoot, where did I, wasn't I in Florida? Where did all these rocks and waterfalls come from? No, I'm just saying we're going to France. Okay. And that's where the Epcot resorts are. And this is France. And I love the little peppermints. I love the little peppermint details on the lamp posts. I want to lick them. You're, don't lick them. It's I'll just. Get sick of Disney. <laughs> lick, lick anything. Lick anything. Forehead. There's a pretty tree and all kinds of space to sit if you want to like in the back of France awkwardly and no one comes down here. This is Morocco which is really cool because this isn't right after you walk in but as soon as you walk in it, you can't see anything other than here. <laughs> it does, right, a payphone. Which is kind of an exotic wonder, let's be honest. <laughs> A photo pass. Whoa! This is Italy where you get drunk and eat pizza. It's not very big, it's pretty much just a drunk and eat pizza. I think. There's like one store, there's some masks and stuff in it. Sam is very obviously not an Italian. What did you say? I said Sam is very obviously not Italian. Yeah. I'm less so. I could probably pass if I wanted to. Yeah. Whee! And that's it. That's Italy.
you know that Norway is next to China? Obviously. That's one piece of geography I definitely know. Journey to imagination with Figman, cause we're from the 80s. What are you doing for dinner, Sam? Eating steak. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Did you have fun today? Yeah. Well, are we still going to do more stuff today? We're going to go yep. the frozen. No. Oh, yeah, we have the frozen fast pass. Yep. Which if they made us late for, I'm sure they would still honor, but... Yep. We have the frozen fast pass, and then we have illuminations. And then... Maybe Magic Kingdom, eh? <laughs> you want to go to bed, don't you? We'll see. Depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> depends on it. Yeah, it sort of depends on the existence of a second wind, I think. And if I get coffee or something, I might be... Right, fine. right. Just because I feel like Extra Magic Hours is like the best, like... Yeah. Everyone's like, don't go on Extra Magic Hour Day, but every time we've been there during Extra Magic Hours, it's been fine. Yep. yep. And better than normal wait times. Right. <gasps> My train! I'm just saying. Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Yeah, that, well, that's how we went the first time, right? Was we were like, this doesn't have a wait for once. Right. Let's see why it has a wait all the time. Oh. Well, and it's so it's so kid heavy that. Right. Like. Right. The adults out late for extra magic hours are less likely to go on Peter Pan alone. <laughs> True. You know? Unless they're us. Unless they're us. You never know. There's that you. nostalgia factor that little kids are less likely to. Right. Get. I love you. It's so fancy, and there's Christmas, and there's mirrors, and there's my husband. <laughs> Shut up. Indoor, outdoor, frozen queue. The lanterns have little Elsas on them. It's super cute. It's a super cute detail, and one of them has their snowflake over there. Look at that. Thank <laughs> you. 